Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to the 50th Xamarin Android tutorial. So this is going to be the last video on the drawer layout using the new action bar drawer toggle. And we're going to be implementing the right drawer, okay? So implementing the right drawer is pretty simple. However, we do run into some problems with like overlapping. And we want to make sure that that doesn't happen when the left door, right drawer is open. The left door doesn't overlap and the right door closes when the left door opens and that the right drawer becomes independent of this. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. So this is what we're gonna be working on. We're also gonna add a few items to the to the, each of these uh, list views, okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing in this last tutorial on the drawer layout. So let's go ahead and get started on this. And the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we wanna to wanna to come into our designer file and we're actually gonna to wanna to add the second list view, okay? So since it's very similar to the first, let's go ahead and just do a copy paste. And we're gonna to need to change a few things, of course, the ID. And the next thing, which is very important, is gonna be the gravity, which you wanna make right. Okay, so this, this is what tells uh, Android that it's going to be a right drawer. And finally, we wanna change the divider color and then lastly, we want to change the actual background of the right drawer, okay? So it's gonna be something of a darker color, something like that will we'll just use fine. And that's pretty much it, okay guys? So we're gonna have, we're, now we have a right drawer layout and that's pretty much it on that. So if we go ahead and run it, you'll see the problems that we run into when we do create a right drawer. And the one of the things is of course, we need to make some kind of of icon so that the user can click on to toggle the drawer on and off. But when we slide it out, we'll see that the left drawer, if we open it in a particular way that it'll actually overlap, okay? And then also the right drawer is gonna be not independent and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So when this opens, what I mean by it not being independent is notice that this stuff changes down over here. So the animation happens and then it also thinks that it's closing an, an opening, but we only want that to be something that changes with the left drawer, okay? So in the next problem, bring it back up, the next problem that we run into is the overlapping like I mentioned. So what happens is when we have the right drawer open and we open the left drawer, the right drawer doesn't close and the right drawer overlaps the left and it looks really weird. So we need to fix that problem as well. And also we need to add a way for the user to navigate uh, the right drawer on and off. Okay, so just a few things. And I just wanted to show you guys that so that you know when we're programming this stuff, it kind of becomes more clear why we're doing what we're doing. So the first thing we wanna do is, let's go ahead and add a menu. We're gonna to wanna to add a action menu so that the user has something to toggle on and off the right door with. So let's go ahead and come into here Actually, what we'll do is we'll create a folder first. So we'll create a new folder called the folder menu. And then we're gonna add a file, an XML file called action underscore menu. And what we're gonna do here, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this over since it's pretty trivial. We've done this many times before. So we just have two icons, a refresh icon, and then a help icon that are always showing in the action bar. Now, the next thing we need to do is those two icons we now need to import into our drawable, okay? Which those icons are really, really can be anything you guys want. I'm just using the refresh and the help icon from the Android icon action pack that you can download from the developer website. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those right now. Alrighty, so you can see here now I have them added. And then now what we wanna do is we want to actually inflate that menu on the action bar, okay? So we want to do an override on the on create options menu. And then we want to use the menu inflator to inflate the menu. And we can reference it through resource.menu.action underscore menu, and then just pass in the menu. And we just haven't rebuilt yet, so that's why it's giving us a little error. Let's go ahead and do a rebuild right now. And that error should go away. So this will give us a way so that for the user to be able to toggle the right door on and off. Now, what happens is when the user clicks on the icon, this method is called. And right now we're not really doing anything but just calling this 
uh, M door toggle to let the icon the left door handle its business. However, we need to add now some some code and to add some some event handling for the to the right door. Okay, so when the user clicks the help button, in this case, we want it to open or close. So let's go back. Let's go into our on options item selected, and we're going to do a few things there. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a switch case. So this is pretty common to use a switch case inside of this method in which we're checking the item ID and for each one we're going to make a case okay so the first one's going to be just the let's just do the resource dot ID dot action refresh and that's going to be the one that is that gets called when the when the refresh button is clicked so here, let's go ahead and just return true for the refresh. We're not going to do any kind of any special programming there. And the next case is actually going to be the help button, which is the one that's going to be opening the action of the right drawer, draw, right drawer layout. Okay, so with that, we're going to need to either check to see if it's open or closed. Okay, so if the help button is clicked. We want to see if it's open or not the right drawer. Okay, so we'll do right if drawer layout is drawer open, and then we'll pass in the right drawer. Okay, which we have not yet made yet. So let's go ahead and make a instance of it, which is just a list list view. So we'll do right drawer, and then down here we'll grab a reference of it from the designer, cast it to a list view. And then remember that we named it right door. So now that we can go ahead and pass it in here. So when we when we do a check for to see if the, the drawer, the right drawer is open, if it is open, then we want to close it, okay? So we'll note that. We'll do right drawer is already open. Close it. Okay. So let's do that now. And we can do that through the drawer layout. And we can do dot close drawer and we'll pass it in the right drawer otherwise it must be closed therefore right drawer is closed therefore we want to open it open it and just in case close left drawer so we don't really care to see if the right or the left drawer is open or not just in case it is, we'll close it, okay? So even if we close it and it already is closed, we're not gonna get an error or anything like that. We'll just uh, we'll just make sure. So we could check to see if it's open, and if it is open, close it. But why do that when we can just make sure to close it by just closing it in? If it isn't closed, no harm, no foul. So we'll do close drawer, and we'll close the left drawer, okay? So that, makes, that will stop the overlapping from happening on the right door, okay? So if the right door ever opens, the left door is guaranteed to close. So remember that the over uh, uh, the overlapping was happening with the left drawer, okay? So what that's going to do is that that's going to remedy the problem um, in that case. Now we'll need to have a default case, which we'll just call the base method in the default case. And then over here, rem remember that this is what covers the left drawer. Okay, the left when the left drawer is the M drawer toggle, that takes care of the left drawer being clicked, much like the help does for the right drawer. So the way we can check to see if the right drawer, or I'm sorry, the left drawer is being clicked or not, we, we need to do a little bit of a special case. We'll need, we'll need to do android.resource.id.home. Okay, so this is the frameworks icon for the hamburger button. Okay. So when that's clicked, then we know that the left navigation button was clicked. And remember that when we clicked it, the right door uh, overlapped the left, okay? So this is where we're going to remedy that problem there. And let's just go ahead and add a little comment here so that we don't forget that. So the hamburger icon was clicked, which means the drawer toggle will handle the event. All we need to do is ensure the right drawer 
is closed. So they don't overlap. And that's exactly what we'll do. We'll do M drawer layout, closed drawer. So we'll make sure that the right drawer is closed, okay? Whether it's closed or not, or open or not, we'll just close it just to make sure. And then we'll do M door toggle like we like I uh, like we did before. We'll call the on options item selected. So therefore, it'll take care of that for us. And then we'll return true so that nothing else needs to be done. All right. So now that this is taken care of, what should happen now when we run it? The help button should now open and close the right drawer. And then the left navigation button should now check first, or not even check, to just close the right drawer so that they don't overlap. So the right drawer is closing, or closing and opening with the help button click, which is exactly what we want. And then when this is open, that will not close, but which before, remember that they overlapped, okay? So now we have fixed that problem. Now the only thing that we have left is really, is notice that when we open and close the right drawer, the animation is happening with the arrow and, the, and then the, the title for the, for the action bar is being changed, okay? So we actually want it to be independent of the of all this stuff happening. We only want that stuff to happen for the left drawer, not the right. So the way we can do that is where is what we need to do actually is we need to be able to differentiate the between the left and the right drawer and which one is being opened and closed, okay? So the way we can do that the easiest way is if we do left drawer and we tag it, okay? So we tag the left drawer with with a zero and we tag, and it's an object to tag, so you can really throw anything we want in it, but I'm just gonna do an integer for, so a zero and one to represent it. And then, now that we've tagged it, notice that inside of the on drawer open, on drawer close, and on drawer slide, the drawer view that's associated, that the one opening or the one closing, the one sliding, is passed in, okay? So in this case, the left or the right drawer can be passed in. How do we tell which one it is? Well, we just go ahead and check the tag that we just got, so we'll just do, drawer type and then we'll now get the tag first we need to cast it to an int from an object we'll get the type from the tag okay so we only want to do this stuff which this is what actually changes the title this is what changes the title again and then this is also this is actually what causes the sliding or the animating from the hamburger to the to the arrow and the arrow to the hamburger so we only want to do that stuff if it's the left drawer right so we'll first check to see if it's zero, since that's what we tagged the left drawer with, okay? So if it's zero, the drawer type, then go ahead and do that stuff, okay? Otherwise, it's not gonna do anything. And we can do the same thing for, for these two things. So same thing, if the drawer type is zero, then we want to implement the base method. And the same logic, of course, here. If door type equals zero, then do the slide. And this will actually stop the animation from happening when the right door is coming out. So now we can go ahead and run it, and then now what we'll be able to tell is, is that the um, Android will be able to differentiate the, the two, and then now only in the left drawer will, it, will this stuff happen. In the right drawer, notice that it is independent now of any of this stuff going on, which is exactly what we want. So the, really the last thing we need to do is add the items in for the, the list views, which is the drawer layouts. Before we do that though, let's go ahead and quickly override another method called on configuration change. And on configuration change is called when the when the configuration from portrait to landscape or landscape to portrait is changed. So when the in other words when the when the device is rotated. And when that happens, we need to call the drawer toggles on configuration change to give it a heads up, okay? So we'll do M drawer toggle on configuration change and we'll pass in the new config. So this is exactly like, like what we're doing with the on options item selected when we're calling its on options item selected, okay? Only when the actual item is selected.
which is right here. Alrighty, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to now just add in the the items, okay? So we need to add in just like a simple, let's just add in a simple array adapter. We're not gonna, of course, make our own a list view adapter and stuff since that's a little out of the scope of this tutorial. But we'll do an array adapter and we'll call this left adapter. We'll need another adapter for the right adapter. And then we'll need two data sets, both list of strings. And we'll call this M left data set. And then finally, M right data set. We'll need to now come down here and somewhere around here, we'll need to actually set these and instantiate some of them, okay? So we'll need to instantiate first the left data set equals new list of string. And then we're just gonna add a few simple items to this, some a few simple strings like left item one, and then left item two. And then finally, we're gonna call and instantiate the left adapter. So M left adapter equals new array adapter of string. And then now we're gonna use this third constructor, which takes the context. And we're gonna use a, this is usually when you make your own adapter and inherit from base adapter. But since, like I said, this that's kind of beyond the scope of this tutorial, we're just gonna use a simple list item. So Android resource layout will give us something that's built in and just quickly implemented. And then finally, we just need to pass in the data set. And then the left drawer, which don't forget, it's just a list view. We'll need to set its adapter to the left adapter. And that should do it. And let's just copy and paste it since it, we're basically doing the same thing except for the right. So we'll do right data set and paste, paste, paste. And then of course, right adapter, copy, paste and then we'll change that to right drawer. So this should give us a few items inside of the two drawer layouts just to give us a better idea of what's going on. Pull up the emulator. Hopefully it's not too bad to take your old drawer layout and, and make it a new one using the new action bar drawer toggle. Or of course, if you're just starting from scratch, then you should be in good shape to start using the new drawer layout with your applications. So now we have two items in here and we have two items in here. So the only thing I didn't change over was something that's not a big deal, but let's just do it just for good practice was the right and the right. Okay. But other than that, we are looking pretty good. Okay. So everything's good on the configuration change. That stays the same. This still stays the same. Nothing's overlapping and looks good to go. So there you guys have it. So like I said before, I hope you guys have a good understanding now of the action bar door toggle using the new support library. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So uh, once again, like always, if you guys have any questions or, or comments about this, uh, feel free to shoot me a comment below. I always like hearing from you guys, whether it's a question, you guys are having some problems or anything, I'll, I'll do my best to help you guys out. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It really helps my channel grow and I appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching guys. What's going on guys, Joe Rock here, and thanks for watching my video. So if you're looking forward to a few more tutorials that deal with material design, be sure to skip back over to 24 that deals with the Recycler View and how to implement it. See ya.